Hey, good afternoon. We're going to unbox this thermos grill. I was looking for a grill. I was ready to plunk down the bucks for a Weber and I got a notification of some reward points. So I looked through the catalog and they had this thermos three burner gas grill. I was like, ah, oh, thermos is a brand name. So when I looked up thermos, thermos is owned by Charbroil. And I had a similar Charbroil grill. I think probably lasted five years before it rusted out. I had a SRG smoker roaster grill, Charbroil. That probably lasted me eight years before it rusted out. So when I priced this unit, these things were anywhere from 190 to 350, depending on where you buy it. So this was a freebie. Well, not technically. I guess I bought stuff to get the points, but this arrived at my house for free. But since I didn't shell out any cash for this, it's technically free and free shipping. So all I had to do was put a check in the box and it showed up two days later FedEx. So we're going to unbox this, put it together and see what kind of quality we got. Well, the styrofoam encasement for the thing didn't make it very well, but the lid does not look dented or damaged. So we'll unbox this and lay it out, put it together. All right. Everything survived the FedEx trip here. Even though the styrofoam and the boxes are kind of beat, I've got nothing damaged. So I'm not starting all pissed off. Now I'll assemble this and see how it goes. All right, I stopped the timer. I hit a snag. This thing's bent pretty good right here. I didn't see it before. With that thing bent as badly as it is, this piece isn't gonna go on. So we're gonna have to straighten that out. All right, straighten that out as best we could. Put it down, screw screws together. You never know it was damaged. At least it's not a functioning part. So am I disappointed? Yes, pissed off? No. All right, got the timer going again. Let's finish getting this together. All right, we'll call that 45 minutes for assembly time. And it was, it was very easy. I think there were eight steps in the instructions. There you go. Not bad. This will last, this probably may last five years. This girl listed anywhere from $190 to $350. The packaging wasn't the best either because once I did get this all together, the grease tray on the bottom is kind of smashed. I straightened all of this out the best I can. It was, it's, it was pretty beat, but still again, that's kind of cosmetic. So I'm not real concerned about it, but it definitely could have been packaged a little better. All right, this is a three burner grill, 420 square inches of cooking grate, electric ignition. You know, I guess even at $350, if this lasts you five years, that's 70 bucks a year for a grill. I still, I guess that's a, that's still not a bad deal. You're just going to have to keep this either under cover or put a cover over. You can't leave this out in the elements exposed and expect these babies to last you five years. I wanted to take it outside and do the initial burn in low, medium, high, put a temp probe in there and see just what this does but it's windy, it's rainy, it's nasty. It wouldn't be fair to the grill to crank it up in that foul weather and expect good results. We'll have to do that another time. Well, cheers with an icy, cold, refreshing gin and tonic. And thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. See ya. Ah.